New in FL Studio 21 are the fades, the cross fades and the changing the volume on the clips. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video I show you everything you need to know about the fades and cross fades of Studio 21. Good to have you here, let's go! So I have here two clips and if I go here to this left upper corner here I see uh, that the mouse is changing and now I can create a fade in like this. Let's listen to it. We can edit the fade with this point here called tension. So it could be like this. Or exactly the opposite, like this. What can make a big difference? You also can uh, right click it. Uh, now here you have some features like reset the tension, um, a copy value, type in value. And you can go to a single curve. So this is now smooth, look to the curve. And this is linear, I would call it. Uh, all the features that we do here on the left side, we also can do on the right side. If this is not working on your computer, maybe you have to activate it. Click here on the Focus Audio Clip and then you can activate here the Show Fade Editing Controls. Here you also find other features like the check for zero crossing when editing audio tools and the stretch audio when resizing audio clips. Let me demonstrate this. If I resize this, I just uh, make it smaller but not faster. But if I click this feature stretch audio when resizing, I even can make it much faster. Okay, let's undo that and turn the feature off again. So let me show you the crossfade feature. Uh, I make these two clips overlapping and it automatically creates a crossfade for me that I also can edit like uh, we saw it before. Uh, on the left side or on the right side. If this is not working on your computer, you don't get a, a crossfade like this. Then it's because you already were editing these fades here. So if I do that and now sometimes it's not <laughs> creating a crossfade. You see now I have a very special fade. So if you want to have the automatic crossfade, right click this right corner here and say reset fade out, right click this left corner, reset fade in and now you see the cross fade. All the features work also in a multi selection. So if I select now both clips, I can make a fade out for both clips and a fade in for both clicks. And we can change the volume with this knob here, you see in the middle, uh, at the bottom, I find this uh, half circle. I can go up like 30, 60 beats. That's really enough, uh, really a lot. And we can go down to minus uh, 96, what is like, we don't hear anything. If you want to go back to zero, you can use the Alt or Option key and click it and then it goes back to zero. If you are not happy with the fact that the wave form is smaller and smaller if you go down with the volume, you can use the old feature to change the volume by double clicking the file and go down here with the volume, then you see still the wave form. But I like this new feature here very much. So if you have any questions uh, to this new feature, just write it in the comments. And if you want to see more videos on FL Studio 21, then come to my YouTube channel, Thomas Foster Music Production. Thanks for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers. We at Mugent have been working hard to create a new plugin that is more musical than anything else out there. We are thrilled to present 
the Mugen Player. Each instrument in the Mugen Player comes with a composition, MIDI files you just drag and drop into your session, so you can be inspired not only by a sound, but also by an exciting melody or characteristic chord progression. All of our instruments and MIDI files can be downloaded from the cloud. This means that every time you open the plugin, there might just be a new patch or a new MIDI file waiting for you. Simply double click to load it into your plugin. In addition to the individual instruments, the Mugen player also has kits. These are arrangements that sound like a complete song. With a single click, you can load all the patches, and as soon as you've dropped the MIDI files into your DAW, you can start using them to create something new. But the most incredible thing is, the basic version of Mugen Player is free. Click on the link in the video description to get the Mugen Player. In it, you will find a large selection of instruments, MIDI files and kits that you can download for free and start using right away. Get the Mugen Player now and create music inspired by great sounds and compositions. Mugen, to make music.